let's consider this question. What is the limit of this function as x tends to 0? When we have solved this, we are going to choose from one of these options. To solve this problem, step number 1. Apply direct substitution. That is, wherever you see x, you are going to replace it with 0. And here, 2 times 0 is 0. Next, anything to the power of 0 is 1. That is, 7 to the power of 0 is 1. However, 0 cannot raise itself up because it does not exist. Here, we got 0 over 0, which is undefined. Hence, direct substitution failed. Here, because step 1, direct substitution failed, which is plugging, we are going to apply L'Hopital rule. And in the application of L'Hopital rule, here we got two options. Either to use difference of two squares or to use differentiation. Let's start with difference of two squares. Later, we are going to use differentiation as an alternative method. The law governing difference of two squares is a squared minus it must be a minus b squared is equal to a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket subsequently one squared is the same thing as one also exponential to the power of two squared is the same thing as exponential to the power of x in bracket squared or exponential to the power of x all squared this is the same as this is the same as this we are going to use this and also this this is fine because 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 2 is equally 6. This and this are both the same. Next, we apply difference of two squares. And this, we take away this. This is possible because of the presence of these squares. Because a squared minus b squared can be used as difference of two squares. Next, take the limit of the remaining function. Substituting for 0, our answer is 2. Subsequently, we can solve this using differentiation. In L'Hopital rule, we are going to differentiate each of these separately. Let's differentiate 1 and we are going to have 0. Next, let's differentiate exponential to the power of 2x and we're going to have 2 exponential 2x which we have done using chain rule because of the presence of 2 at the powers next differentiate 1 and we're going to have 0 next differentiate exponential x and we're going to have exponential x Next, this, we take away this. Next, take the limit of this function as x tends to 0. And by differentiation, equally gave us 2. And from the options, our answer is C. Check out for other videos. in precalculus and to locate all these videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video